a hernia is a hole, uh, somewhere that there's not supposed to be a hole. Some hernias you're born with, and they show up uh, as, a, as a neonate, uh, particularly in premature babies. They have groin hernias, inguinal hernias, and umbilical hernias more commonly. Uh, and then there are types of hernias that you get uh, from previous surgery. Because scar tissue isn't as durable as normal tissue, you're more likely to have a hernia at a previous incision. Uh, there are some hernias that develop over time um, in sort of biologic, natural weak spots. The things that would prompt someone to come in for hernia repair or evaluation would be uh, symptoms that they're having from it. Some people for a bulge, they've noticed a bulge that they can't explain. Uh, some people have pain. Uh, the more severe end would be if patients have intestine or something stuck in their hernia so that they are unable to go to the restroom or have a bowel obstruction. There are multiple types of hernias, so the repair is variable based on what kind of hernia you have um, and previous repairs that you may have had. Um, but essentially, some of the minor uh, type of hernias you can have day surgery for, like an, uh, an inguinal or a groin hernia, mm -hmm. uh, where you come in that morning, check in, the surgery lasts 30 to 45 minutes, and you go home after recovery a few hours later with a short incision. Those hernias can be fixed laparoscopically as well, so uh, most people use three small laparoscopic ports for the hernia repair, and again, you go home the same day. Uh, the other end of the spectrum would be someone with a large hernia, typically from a previous abdominal surgery, uh, that would require a, a major abdominal surgery with a big piece of uh, synthetic or, or biologic mesh and a, and a multi-day stay in the hospital. Of course, it's surgery, so there's at least some soreness involved with repairing a hernia. But if it's a small hernia at your belly button, for example, uh, patients do very well with those and, and just would take pain medicine for maybe a day or two at the most. Um, groin hernias, uh, patients sometimes may, may take pain medicine as long as five to seven days. Uh, would be a little more uh, soreness in that. Um, you can do laparoscopic hernia repairs and uh, a general rule is that that causes less pain um, and, and so patients uh, typically recover quicker from a laparoscopic hernia repair than open. The larger hernias, obviously there's a significant amount of uh, pain medication usage post-op uh, with a multi-day hospital stay. And they require IV pain medication for at least you know, 24, 48 hours.